This experiment shows you how to make a rather unusual musical instrument. To do it, you need a fairly stiff cardboard tube, a straw, and the plastic ones for this are better because they've got a bend in them, and then a latex glove. And I'm really grateful to Dave from Cardiff who showed me this experiment many years ago. First of all, you take the glove and you put it over the top of the cardboard tube. Now we're going to need to tape this with sticky tape very, very securely in place on the cardboard tube. So I'll just push this round and make absolutely sure that it's tight onto the tube. I think that should be enough. I'll cut that off there. Then we need to take the glove and take four of the fingers. Well, actually, it's, it's three fingers and a thumb, but we'll pull those down one side so that they are tight against the side of the cardboard tube. And all we've got left here is the little finger. Just make sure that's tight. Good. And we've got to take those fingers in place here. So a bit more saddle tape. Our tape goes on here like this. We can fix that in like that, and I'll just for sure tape the end down as well. So they're really well taped in place now. We're almost there because now what we have to do is to take some scissors. I should have told you you needed scissors, but before, and we'll cut a small hole in the end of the little finger, the one we've got left here. So just a little tiny hole I'm going to do just in the end of this, like that. Just big enough to put the straw in. So let's pop the straw in here, like that. And then we're almost at the end of the construction of this, because we have to tape the straw into the end of the plastic latex glove. Just a bit more sellotape around that one. I think that should hold it in place. We can cut the sellotape off now. Make sure that that really is sealing the straw into the glove. I think that should do. Well, maybe let's just see for sure a little bit more on the end. We can put the sellotape out of the way now and a bit more just around here so that it doesn't let any air get out from there. And we'll do that, tape it on, and then we should be ready to go now. Okay. All you do now is to play it. So you hold it with one hand and you blow into the tube like this. <laughs> An amazing noise. The air is going up through the straw, going between the latex glove and the cardboard tube and making the top of the glove vibrate. And if I hold it sideways on to the camera, it's a little difficult to know where to put this, but somewhere. You might better see it vibrating. If you make one of your own and have a mobile phone and can slow down the vibration, you'll be able to see the top of the glove vibrating. Now, what does the pitch depend on? Well, a number of things. The length of the tube, the diameter of the tube, and the tension of the latex glove. We can almost turn this into a trombone because if we have another tube and we push it up inside the first one, and now while we're playing, I'll pull the tube out. You see, changing the length will change the pitch of the note in this amazing, the unusual musical instrument.